Are you looking to take your mid-journey art to the next level with After Effects? If so, this is probably the video for you. By using Discord, Photoshop and After Effects, I'm going to show you in this quick video the techniques you need to turn your mid-journey images into really cool 3D landscapes. Okay, so let's have a look at what we're going to be creating. I'm just going to click play here and you can see that we've got a camera pushing into some art that I actually made in mid-journey and you can see there's a little bit of a camera um, sort of shake on it as well. So that's what we're going to be creating purely out of mid-journey art. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to make this super quick. So obviously you'll need to make a Discord account, download Discord, and then you'll need to go to midjourney.com if you haven't got mid-journey already and you'll be able to access the mid-journey bot there. And I'm just going to type something along the lines of imagine a warrior standing below a citadel and what I'm also going to do is dash dash AR space 16 colon 9 and what that's going to do is it's going to generate artwork um, within the widescreen ratio so once you found one that you like I just like this one and I clicked upscale one and right click and you can then download and save the image okay so I'm just going to let mid journey do its thing I'm not going to wait around what you'll want to do then is go into Photoshop beta or Photoshop doesn't have to be beta actually and basically basically a quick breakdown of what I've done here I've used the selection tools, so the magic wand, the quick selection, and the lasso tool to basically cut out each individual thing. So you can see here that I've got the warrior and this because they're in the same sort of area of foreground. Then I've got this because it's a little bit further back. Then I've got the main citadel or citadel, and then I've got the rest of the image, which is these sort of mountains, mini sort of buildings, and the background. Okay, so I've just broken them up. So all I would have done is gone in and I've got my magic wand tool or lasso tool or whatever I wanted and kind of just highlighted a load of stuff and I'm going to do this very very quickly and incredibly roughly right click um, layer via copy and so then I've got that um, if I turn this off I've got that obviously not very well done because um, it's rushed but what I would have done then is used select pixels to select them I would have come back made a copy of my background and I would have gone select modify expand by five pixels let's just pretend it's got everything selected and i'd have gone edit and then content aware fill and it would have filled it in like that and i'll click ok and i'll start just merge these together and i would then see i've got this now deselect and i would start just cu cutting this out and then cutting everything else out and repeating those processes so that's just a quick breakdown of what I did there. Now let's go into After Effects and let's start, let's start piecing this together. So I'm going to delete what I've got here. And I'm just going to double click to import. I know I called it Warrior and it's a Photoshop file. Now when I import it, I want to make sure it's importing as composition, retain layer sizes. If it was footage, it would all be merged into one layer. So just click that, double click Warrior. And then we've got all of these um, sort of individual layers in here. So I'm going to right click and create a new camera, just hit enter, and then I'm going to open up my two views. This one is set to the top, so what I can do now is turn all of these layers 3D, and my background copy, which is going to be just the, you can see here, just the sort of sky. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit P for position, and there we go, I can push it way, way, way back into the background, all the way back, sort of um, all the way back here. So it's way, way in the back. And now, as a result, I'm going to have to hit S for scale and scale it back up so it again fills the entire frame like this. And you need to repeat this, so let's get this one. And I want to push this citadel way, way back. Hit S for scale. Scale it up so it fills the entire frame like it did before. Same with this next one. I think this doesn't need to go as far back, probably about there. I'm going to scale it up. And probably then I'm only going to scale it to there because if I carry on scaling, it'll just be too big. So I'm just going to move it slightly. So using the X, or you can do it in this window, using the X and the Y. In fact, I can probably make that a little bit bigger and just bring it back in like so. And then final one is going to be our um, character by here. So we're going to select him and using the Z, push him quite far away and then just scale back up like so. That's probably scaled enough. So I'm just gonna move it down and move this over. So what we can do now is hit our camera, hit P for position, 
create a keyframe and then I'm going to come to eight seconds and I'm going to get my camera and I'm going to use the Z and push that camera in. So we've got this parallax happening like that. Okay, perfect. So now if we play this back, I'm going to come back to my one view and there we go. So this is what we've got. We can now see that we've got this really cinematic push in. What I could do is I could move this one a little bit, just a little bit closer to the side so it disappears when we're on that final frame. So now, yeah, just push it a little bit more. There we go. And we could also have the camera position. So it also comes down a bit slightly perhaps. So we could kind of, we could kind of carry on playing around with all of that, but that's, that's our basic move. What I would also do, just to add a little bit of realism on point of interest, if you alt or option click, I'm gonna type wiggle, open brackets, one comma three. So one times a second is gonna move by a value of three. So we've just got a little bit of subtle kind of movement in there as if somebody is holding that camera and perhaps it could be, yeah, that, that's probably subtle enough. So you could go ahead now and you could add atmospheric fog, smoke, um, particles, whatever you want. You could add some sort of lightning, but this is now taking some mid-journey art and creating a cinematic 3D kind of shot out of it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that. I um, Leave me a comment of what you thought or what you want to see in the future, and I look forward to seeing you in a future video tutorial. Cheers.